urban forestry. Many people in Tempe are concerned that the increase in the amount of trees as required to achieve the 25% canopy cover will only increase the amount of water use, which may be both costly and unsustainable. Do you agree? And how do you propose to balance the two? We'll begin with you, Mr. Stewart. Um, once again, I, I'll bring up the, um, the idea for old growth rebate um, and be able to keep, in that way where I have mature cover in some of these areas. Um, so we won't have to like plant as many like newer trees right away, um, even though they are lower, um, lower water use. Um, I am a big fan of making sure the parks are using the low water trees that are being used. Um, that's list that's identified by the Arizona Low Water Plant List. Um, and I do think, as Jennifer mentioned, um, the the uh, coming back to the park programs and stuff, and it's got, it's got to be really important for the capital improvement programs to make sure we get these trees in there and um, have these things get in. Um, when, when it comes to like low water plants, I mean, there were already, we've already disturbed the environment here. Um, we're not going to go back to how it was before we step foot in here. So what I'd like to see is at least get as much native species as we can in here and make it look as close as we can get, get it to in here. And I, get it to in, in, in Tempe as it was, as it used to be. Um, with that being said, like, you're going to have to balance the water rates and the water with, with the trees. Um, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Thank, Thank you. you. Good? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think it is about a, a balance. And I think um, the first thing I want to look at is efficiency and effectiveness. So I actually was just, um, uh, just the other day I was driving somewhere and um, I noticed uh, what particularly alarmed me was it was a gentleman in a wheelchair and he was going along the sidewalk and he was literally being drenched because the sidewalk was also being watered by this strip mall. And so um, I think we need to educate and, and look at, again, efficiency and effectiveness of the watering plans that we have today. I think that's one way we can balance um, our current water usage with additional growth. Like I mentioned before, it's not necessarily about, um, you know, putting, uh, putting new trees and adding a ton more water. It's about being a efficient stewards of the resources that we're already using. And I think that's one really important way we can do this. Um, we know that the, the older growth that we have here in Tempe, um, I, I, it makes me think of um, Teresa Lucier, who has these giant trees on her property, and she is actually afraid of development in her neighborhood because, uh, because she's afraid it will harm the trees in some way. And I think it's really important that we protect and maintain what we have, do a good job with the, the trees that we have, and then again, look to, look to conserve and be more efficient with, with our watering practices. Thank you. Um, trees need to be planted that are desert friendly. That's, that's a really important um, point. And a lot of times people have not been planting desert friendly trees. So we need to really w watch for that. We need to also um, use uh, water um, plants that don't use a lot of water. Um, part of South Tempe already has a 20% uh, tree canopy. So it can be done um, in, the, in the desert. It has been done. Uh, we need to support the areas of, of town that need to be um, given the opportunity to keep their trees without $1,000 water bills. That is happening and people have been cutting down their trees. I talked to one a resident that both of their neighbors had mature trees on both sides and they cut them all down and they lost all their privacy and it really is um, a problem for the neighborhood. And, uh, and that's all I have to say. Thank you. I think a big part of it is educating the community about the services that Tempe already provides um, because we know there, there are um, services for xeriscaping, rebates, um, audits, and the city will come out and talk to you about how to reduce your water usage or do it more effectively. And so I think the city can do better about advertising its, some of its own services that are really awesome, a lot of human services and water uh, services as well. And so I think, I mean, everything everyone said about desert friendly plants and rebates for old growth, but, but help, helping homeowners and people who live in Tempe figure out how to do it in a way that makes sense and doesn't raise their costs. Um, and we already have some services that help educate Tempe residents. So I think um, to educating the residents and educating residents on those services is a really great way that we can accomplish these goals. 
So the city loses about 215 trees a year through attrition. That is a process of you know, trees evolution. Mature trees are actually water conserving trees. And uh, you know, 70% of water use in a typical home in Tempe is from landscaping. Mm -hmm. And when you look at landscaping, 50% of the water that is applied is wasted. It can be through evapotranspiration, it can be through runoff and overwatering. So you think about mesquite. Mesquite is a drought resistant, not drought tolerant, drought friendly, it's drought resistant. But you can overwater it and you'll get a lot more growth and a lot more bloom and you'll have a lot more cost because you'll have to do a lot more trimming. But if you water it sparingly and then not at all after it's established, you'll have a slow growing tree that is a healthier tree that doesn't have shallow roots that will fell the tree during a time of monsoon. So there's a lot of smart practices out there. And, and thank you for acknowledging all the work that the staff is doing. We, we go out and we will meet with people at their kitchen table and show them the water budget of their tree, of their, of their house. And in one instance, there was 170,000 gallons used in a house, 100,000 gallons next door. They had the same footprint. They had trees, they had mesic lawns, and they had um, swimming pools. But one system was much more updated. It wasn't a jerry-rigged irrigation system. It was updated. It had an irrigation controller, which signals water release by you know, moisture in the soil. And, uh, and there was a, a much better practice of water con conserving from those two houses. So we've, we've worked with our residents so directly. And we've seen um, water bills have by these adopting these practices. And all of this is free. We have free landscaping classes, free um, classes just about you know, vegetable gardens and not just you know, watering your trees. Also, through our urban offsets uh, company we work with, we have the cost, uh, m and cost for every 1,000 trees. We get about $70,000 in, in O&M costs per year for the life of the tree. But it means we have to have an urban forester. We need to have a tree warden for the city of Tempe who's in charge of all the trees, who has that understanding. 